What's up guys, this is Undead Bros in for 1A. Today we've got a new K-Bar knife for you that we're really excited about, so we wanted to make a video on it. You can see it's K-Bar United States Space Force knife. I think they call it a space bar, yeah. Space bar knife. There's the number you can see. If you want to order it yourself. It costs about $111 or so. And then you can get it on the K-Bar website. I'm not sure where else you can get it, but see it says Made in USA. And on the website for this knife, it actually says it's made in New Orleans, and then it says Earth. So, that's kind of funny that put that it was made on Earth. So, that's pretty cool. You see the writing is kind of like a Star Wars kind of thing. Pretty cool. Anyways, this comes off, and then it's got a regular K-Bar box underneath. Except for the space bar. In there. Inside, you got a really cool sticker. I think, I think it's vinyl or something. It's like a car sticker. Really cool k-bar logo on there you can buy shirts and hats that have that same logo on it so that's cool it comes with a little paper they redid this this is the same as the old one it actually has a picture of a guy fighting a bear on there which is where they got the name k-bar kill a bear anyways so that's new um, came with the plastic of course just to read it make sure you know how to use the sheath here's the knife itself comes with this awesome blue colored handle which is made out of Craton G. How do you say that? Craton G. Craton G. And it's the only one that's blue like this, and it has a gray finish on it. It's the only one that's like this. Really cool. So you can see it says USSF on it. It says K bar on this side with that cool writing. Other than that, it's the same thing as all the other K bar fighting knives. It's really cool looking. That blue handle and the gray. Of course, it's razor sharp like all K bars come. Um, comes with one of these glass filled nylon sheaths which is also gray matches the blades so that's pretty cool it's the only one I know of that comes in this color too slides right in there of course to take it out you push this with your thumb down down with your thumb to pull it out so you don't break these plastic tabs off so there's what it looks like in the sheath it's a really cool color scheme on this knife it's really cool they went with that blue color Pretty bright blue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's a lot brighter than it looks like on their website. But it's really awesome. Of course, it has a thumb snap on there so you can secure it. And it is Molly compatible. You can tie it down or strap it down wherever you want. It has a belt loop on it and a little clip up here, I guess, to hang it on a vest or something if you want. It has a drain hole in the bottom for water, so that's pretty awesome. Just for comparison's sake, here's another regular K bar. You can see it's the same, same dang knife, just different color scheme. Pretty cool. Here's a regular Marine Corps K bar knife, the leather sheath. Same knife, just um, of course, different handles on this one. The blade is 1095 Pro Van Steel, which we have used this knife here a lot. And um, you can see it's been used a lot. And we hardly ever have to sharpen it, it stays really sharp and holds up really good. Maybe baton, baton, and all kinds of stuff with this knife. And of course, it's got a right tail tang, but it's remained really strong and I don't think you'll have any problems with that steel. It's really easy to sharpen too. I have noticed though that this sheath, it seems like it might dull the blade a little bit if you accidentally rub it against this edge a little bit when you pull it out. But that's not a big deal. Just kind of keep it sharp. But it's easy to sharpen. Um, the blade width itself is 0.165 inches according to the website. Of course it has a blood groove. It has the same profile as all the other blades but this is unique stamp marks are really cool on this knife. Definitely like a collector's knife. I'm not going to be using this one. The blade length is looking about about seven inches or so. Well, seven inches down to the patrol there, whatever you call it. It's about six and a half inches, the actual blade itself, the cutting edge. Almost 12 inches overall. It's like 11, 11 and three quarters or so. So, there it is. It's a really awesome knife. We just wanted to show it off to you. This really cool special edition knife. And they have two other, um, they're not really knives. Well, one of them is a knife. It's a little pocket folder knife. Same color scheme. And they have a, a breacher tool with like a pry bar kind of deal. Not really a knife, but same color scheme. They say Space Force on them. And, uh, but we got the fighting knife because it's just awesome. You can see K-Bar, United States Space Force. So... Maybe the uh, military will adopt this as their official fighting knife. Wouldn't that be pretty cool?
And if I was in the Space Force, I would definitely carry one of these babies around. So thanks for watching. If you haven't seen our videos on these knives, actually, I don't think we have any videos on these knives. We have videos on other K bars. You should go check them out. And eventually, we'll do videos on the other ones. So thanks for watching, and leave a like and subscribe, and let us know what you think about this awesome knife down in the comments.